adventure game where you played as like Buff Knuckles. Um, oh, Sonic, Sonic Boom. Boom. Sonic Boom, thank you. Or like the infinite jump bandana. thing with Knuckles. What? Bandana? Bandana Knuckles. Yeah, he's, he, he's, wearing wearing a bandana he's wearing a bandana around his neck. Oh, Sonic. Oh, yeah, 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 he sure was. I, wait, was that Tails? Why would no, we that was Sonic. that of all things? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Why would you not? Why would you? Why would you go buff knuckles? That was the first or, thing or... I thought of. Sorry. <laughs> you thought of such a nondescript and we went bandana. What? I look yeah, at I couldn't all even for a fucking loop there. I just went, hey, main character. Hey, he's he's actually wearing clothes. The main thing being a bandana. That's my, that was my thought hey, process. Hey, y'all know what? When you look up bandana Sonic, he comes up. <laughs> yeah, fuckers. <laughs> All right, look up Buff Knuckles. Well, of course that's going to come up. <laughs> oh, <it is> so <laughs> that's the only Buff yeah, Knuckles I in existence. I, I should have turned Safe Search on. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you recognize all the time you were like, Dragon Ball shipping, wait, hold on. Safe Search. <laughs> but Buff Knuckles, you just went... Oh, this is gonna be wholesome content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, try it, Gavin. No. Why would I no. try it when I would prefer <clears throat> to go there? So if just... I go to a high quality steakhouse, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna try something that I may or may not like, or do I want to get something that I will like? Okay. And I will walk out with my belly full and sad. When did you feel the I'm never trying anything new again? Oh, like um. Three years ago. What the? Wow. I was just like, I'm done. I will never have that feeling in my life. Yeah. Never. never. Like, why? We're so like, literally... yo, I tried a whole lot of things. I know what I did, and I know what but I don't think did. I've tried... What's the point of trying stuff have when you... I can have stuff that hold I might on. actually hold like? On. I, hold I, I hold know on. what I like, and DA, I'm how old are you? That I like DA, how old are you? Wasting my time. But everything we tried, and all that stuff. But everything we've tried, we've tried maybe seven percent of the stuff that's out there. Absolutely, and guess what? I'm gonna be eating for the rest of my life. Seven percent of stuff. If Doritos go out of business, guess what? That's the end of my tortilla dream. Oh my god. He's in his mid thirties, Ralph. It, it, like, I don't think that number matters. He's in his early to mid thirties. And that is nowhere near the point where you should think this these I thoughts. I tried a lot of Yeah, stuff. I can understand if you 50, 60, you like, <laughs> I've, I've lived life, I'm done. <laughs> you have not I'm lived life in your 30s. I'm going to hyperbolic like that. <laughs> you have not lived life at your 30s. I'm sorry. Like, have you been no. outside the country oh, before? I just got to start eating everything. Oh, give me that squid. Have give you me been? That that's that's bat squid. Bat Calamari's no. amazing, Calamari's first of all. good shit. Have you been outside well, the country before? Know. Have you been outside I'll the country? I'll never know. Have you been outside the country before? No, I have not. Holy shit. You have not had legitimate foreign food of anything, and you're just done. And guess what? Unless we go to Japan, which we're planning, I never will. And guess what I'm doing when I go to Japan? Hey, look at that McDonald's right there. You what are do I recognize? No way. You are. No. Dude, every time I don't know. Next up, what happened last meetup that where you go? Yeah, we're going to ramen. I went, I don't know. I, Cause what what would I get when I won't go to the ramen? Just some plain ramen with a little bit of chicken and broccoli in it. And guess what? I can make that at home. You y'all you, getting eggs and pepper and oh, yeah, it's what's this eggs. noodle? Okay, that's fine. I'll this never know. A spicy Cause I know what I on. like. And guess what? If I don't like it, I'm stuck there with a mother and meatball sub with eggs on it. <laughs> Okay. Throwing that away. No, I ate it. Don't play with me. I'm not wasting food. <laughs> but is every time meat I go out, sandwich with eggs on it. Hold on, I, I want to process that one. Meatball sandwich with eggs on it. Meatball Where did that? Meatball sub with eggs. I was thinking what? of a breakfast pizza, but in sandwich form with meatballs, and it didn't work. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah we talked about story. this before. And old story. Every time I go out of uh, state for a tournament, I always go. <laughs> what's the local place people go to? What's a food I haven't tried? Let me go there. Oh, I'm not gonna go. Dude. Hey, there go to Wendy's. Let me go to the Wendy's. Food I you haven't went to try. You went to Texas and you didn't try anything remotely Texan. Like what? Barbecue. Barbecue. Texas barbecue. barbecue. I've had barbecue. Oh my Jesus! 
You went to Texas and you. I went to I Tennessee. went to Texas for a con. Yes. Guess what I'm doing all day? I'm in line. And guess when I'm <laughs> out of line? Nine o'clock. And what I'm gonna do? In walk my balls over two miles up to a barbecue shop, or am I gonna go up the street to McDonald's? This is you cutting shop. in on autograph time, and we don't do that here. You this are is... a monster, yo. <laughs> <laughs> The first place I went in Tennessee was a thing, bar, uh, barbecue place. BG. Then I tried a local pizzeria uh, down there in Chicago. That's saying, great. BG, uh, I, yeah. I, I beg you, go to Japan, leave his ass here. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't. He doesn't deserve the culture. Hey, where's BG? Oh, he went to Japan. What? <laughs> And just bring back as much fucking Japanese food as possible and just stock your damn house. <laughs> Anything he buys, throw Take in the away trash. The couch, you everything. will try this. <laughs> hide his wallet, hide his phone. <laughs> hey, what you eating today, DA? He'll probably just walk, walk to the-, the street, go to that- Yeah, he's just Taco fucking- Bell. He's fucking flash. <laughs> Oh Dude, my god! Okay, we we need we'll, we'll we'll be on this all damn day. We need to. Jesus. Yes, you are. Correct. Quit speaking when? in the third person. When did you become right? When did you say a right thing? I'm going to Japan to eat McDonald's. Though they do have some weird sandwiches over there yeah. that might be worth. But you won't try them. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Wait, Japanese you you no, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not trying to like a new Doritos flavor, but things that I have not tried, like oysters. Lobster crab, I'm never gonna try that crap. <laughs> but if it's just a, another combination of a burger, I'll rock that out. You're not you're not grubbing at a fine dining establishment. You're there for the environment. You're not there to fill your belly. You you go in there uh 25% full, you walking out freaking 60% full. You not you not grubbing, but you go to McDonald's to grub. It's two totally different things. It's two totally different things. <laughs> Objectives that's trying to be accomplished here. <laughs> I'm just imagining like, advertisements for McDonald's. McDonald's, you come here to grub. <laughs> I'm mean, acting like people wouldn't walk in. Like I do come here to grub. <laughs> that's, that's a good slogan, yo. It's not like you're you're. Hey, McDonald, stuff the slop in your face. <laughs> no. You come here to grub. It's I'm like just, you know what you're here for. I'm just you're saying. Here to order bro. a twenty piece. And a burger. Like I, I can agree with that sentiment completely. There are three numbers that you cannot wager on Jeopardy. 1488 for its um, white supremacist connotations, 666, and 69. <sighs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so, feel like Alan Trebek would have been cool with 69. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but could, can you do 69, 69? Can you do 169 or is it just all 69 is just banned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's what I'm that's what I want to know. Like but is it can like you do the, 88? The... Can you do 4 why not 420? Oh, Jeopardy's slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz yeah, like I, I want to know how specific that rule is. Yeah, I got to I'm sure there's so many bad numbers out there. Can you do 911? Oh man! Ooh! Oh my goodness! No Jeopardy! Uh, is one of us gonna have to join for the meme for the goof? <laughs> I'm wagering sixty-nine dollars. You cannot do that. I'm wagering. Uh, what was that? Seven? It, it was uh some Nazi number. Fourteen eighty-eight. Fourteen eighty-eight. I'm wagering 1488. No. I'm wagering. I'm, I'm wagering 1488.69. Yeah, there you go. I was Damn gonna say, me. I'm wagering 400, $420 to 69 cents. <laughs> the, the the Bandana Sonic. What the fuck is that game called? Bandana Shadow? No, 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 no. Like, where it was like an action adventure game where you played as like Buff Knuckles. Um, oh, Sonic, Sonic Boom. Boom. Sonic Boom, thank you. Or like the infinite jump bandana, thing with Knuckles. What? Bandana? Bandana Knuckles. Yeah, he's, he, he's, wearing wearing a bandana around, he's wearing a bandana around his neck. Oh, Sonic. Oh, yay. Hello, 
everyone, and welcome back to the Podcast of Stuff, episode 252. All right. Did it snow up uh, in Detroit at all? Uh, yes! Hey, hey, the last storm missed you. <laughs> but it was, uh, it's, it's pretty light. Like, it's so light that I, we could just kind of throw down salt and it'll melt the sidewalk. It, we, got like, a we got a couple inches here. We got like two-ish inches, but... I just I just bought a new snow plow, so I was actually like wanting a snow because I wanted to play with it. Snow plow? Or <laughs> oh snow my god! Blow, like. <laughs> what a bum! <laughs> please, please come so I can. Because the last just, it's just no oh, snow for this entire season. You said you just snow like, dang, plow. I don't waste it. This <laughs> it's like the SpongeBob and Patrick. I'm ready for the longest, coldest winter ever, and then it's just spring. <laughs> How did you not know you to defrost a car, homie? Well, wow, versus oh, man, yeah, big, like total surprise in Tampa. <laughs> you know <laughs> what? That's fair. <clears throat> well, I mean, it snowed in South Georgia? Carolina. They have frozen palm trees. <laughs> yeah, they they like. You get to that middle ground. They don't have plows and stuff. So like a half an inch is is terrible there. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds like a personal problem. I just got a car. <laughs> you know, it, You've never been in a car before in winter? Yeah, you, Come on, you, man. You know, like, no, you know, no. I, I, I give Versus the benefit of the doubt because the man didn't try Oreos Drew. until he was 17. That's not Drew. That's Triton. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. If yeah, I said Drew, mis- I, I, just, I said Drew. He just screwed up the name. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. When, when we were young... It'd be like, hey, hop in the car. And then the, you hop in the car. It's not sitting there waiting for it to defrost, nothing like that. It's just get in the car, and then you're in the car. You don't think about that when you're a kid. Why yeah. would you? That's not... Fuck you mean? That's nothing to be... Your parents never said, okay, we're starting the car. Grab a scraper? Nope. Really? But I knew oh, what it was. My dad. That's what my dad did. My dad start the car, said, okay, we'll let the car heat up. Grab a fucking scraper. And we'd fucking get going. Yep. No. He... <laughs> me. Me too. <laughs> No, I think uh, I think uh, our dad just liked doing that type of stuff. He's already said he likes working with his hands, so I think he just enjoys doing all that type of manual labor, scraping and building stuff. My dad did that for a living, and he was very fucking good at it. He still had his kids help him get the. Yes, no, shit ready. he clearly didn't enjoy it like that. He wanted it done. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, Triton, like Triton, uh, I, I Bruce... revoke, I revoke my uh, free pass there. I forgot you're from Canada. You should know. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you should know. definitely know. <laughs> but uh, oh my God, Tyreek! How oh, did yeah. y'all allow this boy? How did y'all to say? It? Yeah, uh, warning ahead for the entirety of the podcast. Uh, BG is watching the playoff game, so NFL. yeah, expect random <clears throat> spurts of incoherent babble from him. Which we will accept when that happens, and not judge people for getting hype about something they're watching like i don't know a smash tournament or something anyway oh, we judge we judge <laughs> well, it's, hard it, it, it's different for you mike because you how? what how i'm, I'm waiting here oh, oh, okay 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 one he's the host he's the dude that's always talking so it makes no sense for you to be doing anything that will get you distracted especially considering so many times you're like hey uh so they said this wait what did they say let me look it up and take it 35 seconds for that there should be nothing that is distracting your mental state to host the thing show i'm I just a bum talking my mental state <laughs> yes distracts <laughs> at all mental state i know what i said i said everything correctly <laughs> No, I'm just saying life distracts my mental state. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you know, it's a day. it's a, you, it's Drew. an additional <coughs> distraction for uh for people that are fairly disorganized. <laughs> and if you're the head if you're heading the thing, you should have minimal distractions. Mm. Like I only need to pipe in when I got something to say. Mike is the one talking for I'd say half of the podcast, unless we're that. ranting about something. No, I wouldn't say that. He introduces a topic, he uh, explains it, and then we go off on whatever we need to talk about. It really yeah, but depends in, on the week. It, it depends on <laughs> what's starting being talked. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It depends on what's being talked about. Like, uh, if he's talking about uh, 
uh, awesome games done quick. We don't really have anything to say. So that's just two, three minutes of him talking about sure, what happened. But there's the also times where he doesn't have anything to say and we have everything to say. Yes, no, and I absolutely agree You know that we're with... us and we'll go three times the amount of time that he'll go on something. Absolutely. Correct. <laughs> um, and now that we've had this system of how we go about things broken down, let's continue said system. <laughs> I shall now introduce the topic, but before that, <laughs> <laughs> quick yeah, introduction from the Roll Brothers. <laughs> of course, our weekly reminder: Black Lives Matter, stop Asian hate. Wear your goddamn masks. Get your boosters, your vaccines. Don't get the that. booster. Don't get the booster. <laughs> oh, DA, <yeah. laughs> no, big, stop. big hurt. No, I will, I'm, I'm putting my foot down on that one. <laughs> Here we You're go. You're good with two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Double mask to double shot, and that's it for you. I it, was through, through. What, what it was, was yeah. bad. What'd you go through? Um, uh, just general heaviness, fog, uh, tiredness. It was like an I don't extreme. Think, I don't flu. think general fog is part of anything. <laughs> well, you know, you've never, you've never been sick, and you're just sitting there, just like, oh man, let me go. Well, let me go do what? No, no, no! Gave... That sounds crazy. Did you really? like? Would you like walk past his room and it's like a wraith is approaching you? All of a sudden, <laughs> just like what the? F <laughs> you see just a white mist snaking out from under the knee. <laughs> What's huh. going on in there? That's concerning. <laughs> and I mean, no, probably how he felt. You probably heard like, <sighs> and you're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Just a sore me. arm and being tired for me. Nah, it was it was bad. Cause I went, all right, I'll do it late. I'll sleep through it. I'll be fine. I did it late. My arm was hurting a little bit. Especially it was like right after it. Five minutes after, I'm like, oh no, my arm. So I, I'm like, all right, go to sleep, wake up. I was fine. Like three, four hours after I woke up. Went to go to the bathroom, almost fell down. I'm like, oh. We're doing this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that sounds I, like a disaster. I just got a negative PCR test, so I'm like in the clear now to <clears throat> do as minimal amount of things as <laughs> we can right now again. But uh, I'm gonna be scheduling my booster here here soon. I'm hoping maybe antibodies might help. We'll see. But uh. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Mike, you your body doesn't produce antibodies. It produces negative antibodies. It just makes you more sick the next time. It's a uh, pro bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on in, guy. <laughs> Everyone's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Midwestern all germs, genetics. Viruses, like, yeah, we're all in. inclusive here, baby. <laughs> just come this on in. The world is fine. <laughs> yeah, just go over there with the chlamydia. You'll be fine. Yep. We have a whole bunch Jesus. of mucus piles for you to chill in, hang out. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to take a permanent residency? Absolutely, we've got plans for that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the and lungs are a little throat. full right now, but may maybe the liver? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're, we're going to slowly spread through this body, guys. Don't even worry about it. There's always room. Somebody oh. hit them toes. <laughs> Somebody hit them toes. Them toes. Jesus. Not me though, because feet blue. <laughs> right. Give BG a fresh cup of piss. Yeah. Fresh. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> so how is the shit comes guess, at you fast here? Yeah. So how is uh how is the NFL playoffs? Oh dude. Up? Tremendous. No Brady. No Rogers. <clears throat> Delicious. Rodgers getting beat by the 49ers after he was talking all that hot after they didn't draft him. Delicious. Brady, I'm just glad he's out of the f in playoffs by Matthew Stafford of all people. Let's go. No, but you, uh, you sound really excited about this. It's so exciting. It's been <laughs> such a great week of playoff football. I'm just surprised <laughs> an Ohio team is in the, in the running. Oh, dude. <laughs> Bengals might actually go to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> really? Yeah, no, they're in the they're already in the AFC championship game. They win the next game, they're in the Super Bowl. Okay. And it is a very good chance they win. They gotta either play uh the Bills or the Chiefs. 
either one, if it's the Chiefs, oh, they absolutely got a chance to win because I think their uh, offense is a little bit better right now uh, with Chase and Higgins coming to fruition. And uh, let's see what Mixon does because uh, the D-line of the Chiefs is not hitting. If it's the Bills, it's going to be more of a problem, but I absolutely believe that the Bengals are going to go to the Super Bowl. I want rams Bengals so bad. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I've been, like, just getting caught up with sports stuff. Um, I didn't, like, <clears throat> I kept checking it every once in a while, but I did not realize the Cavs were actually really fucking good this year. Oh, yeah. I just completely <laughs> I missed that, and I'm just like, oh, they're, like, in the East right now in the NBA, all of the top six teams are, like, a game and a half apart from each other. It's kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> Yeah, I've given up on uh, basketball this year already. <laughs> the Pistons right, I mean, are just complete trash, and is, I'm just uh, like, I, I... is Griffin still on the Pistons? No, okay. he's on the Nets. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> oh, we beat them. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> just slid it in so sweetly. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like uh, Durant wasn't playing, but like, still, just Kyrie's stupid i i love his play but the dude is a, a moron <laughs> that thinks he's would, an intellectual right now i wonder why that is because i feel like chick-fil-a would get a lot more people per day <clears throat> i just i just don't eat there out of principle yeah i've never had chick-fil-a in my life which so is, I don't which even is unfortunate it's like. because it's pretty good they have some pretty bomb waffle fries um but yeah can't uh <clears throat> cannot support what they be doing at all. I mean, it's it's getting to the point where if you're not going to support people on principle, you're going to be supporting very few things. Nestle, trash. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Amazon, Mars, trash. And yes. there's, an, there's another candy <coughs> chocolatier. <coughs> Chocolate doing company. legit K child slavery stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, China, microchips, electronics. Hey, I mean, there's an Intel factory being built in Ohio, so we might get... All right, more. come on in, 11-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 15, 11-year-olds come in, didn't see none one of them come out. <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. <laughs> then, are you sure you even saw them come in? Uh, yeah, there's no okay. mm, Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> principles i want some waffle fries <laughs> make sure they have their covid boosters fog them up i mean how 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 far will you go to separate the art from the artist or in this case the product from the corporation and it's uh, it's all up to you in your mind like if there's stuff that's blatantly reported then i'm gonna take that in consideration i'm sure there's a whole bunch of companies that are doing scummy things but <clears throat> Until they are brought to the light, you know, we don't know about them. Mm. But yeah, like, I'm not going to buy <clears throat> Nestle Mars stuff. I mean, like, right now, I believe it's still in court, technically, but <clears throat> that that's, that stuff is already out need there. legality to decide what's good or bad. If I find out they're doing shit and it's shady and there's palpable, like, Proof. evidence, <clears throat> that's it. You make you make a moral decision, and if it's observed that it's incorrect, that's fine. You go back to their business. It shouldn't account for law to kick in because, as we know, law is greatly flawed as it is. Yep. Oh, law is disgusting, dude. Like, uh, uh, did you hear about old oh, girl? I was just like, nah, don't. We're not doing masks. My son won't be there with a mask this uh, this Monday, and uh, if you try to stop him, I'll come up there with guns. See you Monday. No, no, she's not. She straight up threatened people. No, she's been arrested. Uh, it should have been FBI. I mean, yeah, but she was charged with some. I forgot what the what the count was, but she was she was she was charged. <laughs> it was trash charges. Mm. I mean, yeah, but then again, white female in a moder majoritively white environment. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. And 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 in Texas passing a don't say gay bill. What are we doing? Have you seen the education bill being passed in Indiana? Oh, dude. The <laughs> most disgusting. It's, it's basically a uh, w white people don't want to feel uncomfortable bill. 
Yeah, and hey, white people did a lot of happy. fucked up things in history. Oh, we can't be teaching that. I feel uncomfortable. Have you heard it. about the Florida bill? I don't know about that one. Florida Republican um, House members have put forth a bill making it mandatory for uh, teachers to wear recording devices so that parents can observe what is being said in real time in their kids' classrooms. Oh, that sounds that sounds um, invasive. It is. Yeah, I, America sucks, bro. Uh, it's a toilet right now. Toilet. Oh, sorry. Uh, it wasn't in Texas. Hat. That's why it was in uh Florida. Don't say gay bill. Yeah, so that sounds that sounds Florida. But I mean, Texas very well possible as well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um couple of just tiny little things before we get to <clears throat> new stuff. Um, just catching up on things to watch and read and what have you. Um, I have now watched Eternals. Oh, How? boy. How? <laughs> oh, boy. You I have it. yet to complete. Oh, my goodness. I have that, yet to complete. That movie is too long. <laughs> well, uh -huh. it's, it's unreasonable. <clears throat> I think the directors even said that this was a heavily cut version of what they wanted to put out. How? Cut more! They put out a deleted scene, which was a conversation in the museum between the boyfriend and the kid uh, talking about how a lot of the fossils were actually uh, uh, I almost said derelicts. The fuck were they called again? Deviants. Deviants, yeah. Like, they had a saber-tooth head on there, and the Boyfriend was like, ah, it's a saber tooth. She's like, no, this is actually the skull of some uh, deviant that we murdered. And I'm just sitting here, and he's just like, haha, you're funny. You're a child. I'm like, oh my god, this dynamic needs to stop. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it is either my uh, the worst Marvel movie or, like, I would no, have to go back and rewatch watch There's no either. And go second, if, if it's not the worst, it's second worst to Thor Dark World. That is it. Nope. No. Far and away. I, Thor <laughs> Dark World had entertaining bad if things. If anybody said it wasn't their bottom, entertaining things. then Thor Dark World was the bottom. But it should definitely be the bottom. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, there's only a couple of things. Like, most of it, like, was just mostly boring. I just didn't care. It was <laughs> exceptionally <clears throat> boring. But um, the sex scene. Unbelievably. Though. But the sex scene, it made it so worth it. Bro, that is the unsexiest sex scene <laughs> I've ever seen. It's two mannequins <laughs> flopping together. Yeah, it was a Barbie and Ken doll situation. Um, it was hideous. You there need were to a watch few this. like, like so major plot holes, in, especially uh, yeah. in some of the final scene stuff. And then just Oh like, no, Mike, you don't even look for that type of stuff. <clears throat> and then there was just like some character polls, which like Maybe they might end up being like really fun, like character stuff. I don't know, but most for most of it, I'm just like, who, huh? Well, oh, they they just went <laughs> all right, trait, and that's it. You are a kid. You are the funny guy. You are the crazy guy. Shifty eyes taking over people. You are Bollywood. just some black guy. You don't even get a trait. That's fine. You <laughs> are mute. Oh my! Beginning goodness. end of description of who or what you will be. I found Ant Man to be not very good, but I also wouldn't call it super bad. Like I would call Thor too bad. I don't know if I would say the same for Ant Man too. I agree. Ant Man too. Uh, okay. I might say it for Captain Marvel. Ooh. Captain Marvel's down there. Uh, I feel like Iron Man 2 gets way more hate than it deserved. It I understand agreed. it was basically a setup for Avengers type thing, yeah. but watching the movie again, it's fairly just like, ugh. It's nowhere near as good as one, and I think that hurt a lot of people's perception yeah. of it, but it's nowhere near like 4 I 2. I thought 3 was worse than 2. It's been a while. But... Uh, 3 was messier than 2, especially the uh, final villain of 3. Yeah, that was yeah, trash. 3 was all over the place. That was its problem. Was It kind of jumped a lot. Mm -hmm. Hey, but the Mandarin was hidden. Sorry. Uh, which one? The correct one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not that piece of sh in uh, uh, Shang-Chi. Yawnsville. Um, and then the other thing that I uh, finally read is Spy X Family. 
Yes, sir. How much did you read? All of it. It's so f***ing good. My top three characters are Anya, of course. Of course! Anya! This... Wow, that, what's what's the purpose of even saying that? Yo. Or is it Yo? Like, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, but the mom. The, mm-hmm. the assassin. And then, and then, Bond. <laughs> yeah, people love the dog. That dog is fucking amazing. <laughs> people love the dog. The little bow tie. <laughs> So good. Oh my yeah, god. Anya is far and away number one. Oh yeah. You can go Anya. Anya then blank and then next character. <laughs> Anya is amazing. <clears throat> the whole the whole cruise little arc was fantastic. It, it was so good. Of her just throwing. I am so try so hard to direct him to the bombs and, and save the mom while still enjoying her. Oh, dude, I love Spy Family. I just... Throwing the dagger up and the two dudes trip on it. Exactly as planned. (laughs) Oh, she's such a little... I love her. And then Bonds... uh, Are you caught up, DA? Nope. Uh, You might want to close your ears for this one. The most recent Um, one? Yeah. Yeah. Fan... Dude, tremendous. You need to go... Give me more of this. Just give me more. And I hate that... I understand the mangaka, the, the, the process is bullish, and sometimes they'll take a month and a half off just to do, uh, just to recharge, but my god, I want more Spy Family. Anime's coming soon. It's coming soon. Anime's coming soon, and it's looking <laughs> mwah. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's... Unlike uh, My Dress Up Darling, I feel like I, I would not like the anime for that. I do not like the way their like rosy cheeks look in it. It looks I'm just not ugh. Shoujo ish. Yeah. But I love the manga. Love the manga. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh, uh, so, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. Did you hear the thing the thing backlash for them casting a black woman in uh Toriko? Uh, not Toriko, but uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Nagato. Nagato, yeah. 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 Nagatoro. But yeah. why? They're like, oh, they think she's black because she's tan. Mother, that's not it. It's a black woman doing a voice. It's a voice. It's somebody talking. It's it doesn't matter race. It it doesn't matter. I don't understand. Again, what unless the... you're getting Japanese woman, you should not be talking about anybody. And it's like a uh, gyaru or however you pronounce it, where they like super tan their skin or whatever. <laughs> like. <clears throat> It's just uh, kind of anime yeah. fans are there. The in One Piece versus uh, Attack on Titan yeah, rating bombs war. On there. I just, what, what does it matter? It's the dumbest dude. It, it makes you embarrassed to be a fan of anime when people act like this. Nah, not me. Ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> weirdos over there. I'm a I'm a weirdo over here. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you are in your own spectrum, friend. Like you don't account for that. Uh, everybody's got their little weird. No, you're special. And... Everybody's in, special. In what way? Let's hear three. Did, uh, you you support the Trump presidency surely for the goose. That has despite... nothing to do with anime. That has nothing to do with anime. Okay, oh, you want to speak first for anime? I was just saying you're a roundabout different person. Uh, uh, you tell me. You like a person, you like two people for their hats. Not just because of their hats. Hats is a big part of the design. And I love a really good design and the hat is really good. The first thing you say is big hat. Because it's a very good design. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, oh, and look at wait, the... Wait, wait. Who, who's the other one? Because we've got Amande, of course. But who is the... Uh, uh, old girl from Hunter Hunter. From the Hunter exam. Oh, uh, the little B girl with yeah. the big hat. With the big hat. <laughs> yes, her <laughs> DA. Exactly. You also, you also judge how much you like a particular version of a character based on her hair length. Uh, yeah. Yes, that one particular character, but it's not an insane uh, opinion because I have a reasoning behind it. I don't have I a do. reason for dis- for liking somebody because of the big hat other than hey, it's a good design. No, here's my reason because of the whole power thing. I think that that's very rational. And this isn't me going, hey, my fool thing is rational because that's not rational. I think that this hair thing <laughs> is rational. 
You admit but if she controls length. the length of her hair at will, it shouldn't matter if it's short or not. Uh, yeah, I've said this will. so many times. Are you <laughs> going into a war and you got a backpack on, you got to take off the backpack and you got to take uh, do a combination lock in order to get into the backpack to pull out the gun to shoot somebody? Or do you just have it at your hip? I mean, if you're overly confident and think that you're going to quick shot your way to victory, it kind of doesn't matter how prepped you are. You're already confident enough to okay, walk in. Okay, but the, all I'm ready. take this one time and then bam to the chest. You got to be ready. And I don't care about confidence or whatever. Because Bayo has gotten her butt kicked. Bayo yep. just, like, several, several times, just like, all right, uh, yeah, cut this. It's over. This flirty, uh, walking, sultry. No, it's over. We're just We're just killing people now. So she knows that there's danger out there. That's my argument. And we've heard this argument before. We've heard the whole argument in general, so we can move past that and move on. <laughs> Gavin, I am the perfect anime fan. <laughs> Didn't realize we had such a Chad in our... <laughs> uh, what, what? What's like a... I would have to look up like all like shonen protagonist names. Not not shonen. Um just like generic anime protagonist names and find out like what's the anime equivalent of Chad. And that would be Gavin. Yeah, I couldn't even begin to think of anything for you. <clears throat> DA, you always have to love big you always have to love big hats. I don't always <laughs> have to, but I, I have a I have a preference towards them. <laughs> All right. Based on, it's a good design. Is that an opinion <laughs> or, or a measured fact? There is no. Yeah, don't even start with this bush. We've rallied against <laughs> objectivity versus subjectivity forever. We have. This is true. Come I on. Didn't even, I just. Uh, it didn't even occur to me that we actually there is a Chad in anime. <laughs> Believe there is. Yeah. <laughs> Goku Was is there? the Chad. Was there? For for a time, <laughs> and then I he mean, became, then he became came a boxer where he could literally punch the heads off of people if he wanted to. I mean, how? he's about to be a Chad again. It's about to be back. Okay, how many of you are here? Either any of you, but anybody in this chat, are you guys hyped for the Bleach return? Are you no. guys excited for the no. thousand year blood war to be animated? No, Gabby can't even get to it. Yeah, you coward. fight for a thousand year blood. Yeah, war? the perfect anime fan can't get past Bleach. Come on now. <laughs> I got past the motherfucking bump arc. <laughs> yeah, it took you like nine months. It don't matter. I did it. You you turn on the bump arc and watch it right now. See how long I, it takes I've you. I've already watched it. So See how long it takes I've you. Yeah, shut it, up. So. Can't even, you can't even watch the, the Turtles. I can watch Eternals, and I will watch Eternals on my own time. And I watched the Bound Turtle on my own but time. But your time took so long. It was, was, uh, th two weeks ago, you started the Eternals. Guess what's going to happen when you go back? You have to go back and rewatch it. Oh, absolutely. you forgot stuff. I've already forgotten stuff. I think I was fading already. <laughs> that actually reminds me, before we get to uh, stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. somebody's hyped for it. You know what? <laughs> it looks really good. Undercover hat. I, that's a DA alt. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Undercover hat. That's actually funny. <laughs> that's DA on his phone. I don't want to hear it. Now, um, I 100... Like, I feel like it may clear up some things. Because Kubo is also adding a few things to it to flesh things out. So, it may help. And it is definitely going to look good. And if that's what you want, that's going to rock out. No filler at all. A and B editors will be very happy. Yes. I'm not looking forward to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 effect of Bleach has always Bro, been good, y'all. This discourse needs to really stop. Are you Amazing sure? Spider-Man and or 2 both suck and or balls. <laughs> <laughs> And or ball. <laughs> because, my God, y'all just like, it was all... No, it wasn't. Please rewatch it. I've seen stop, a couple people in our up. Discord say that. At least with Who? one. Who? Uh, zero, I want to say, I think. Okay, he's getting timed. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I, I just, I just have seen like, was, you know, I, I breeze through all the chats, um, just to make sure y'all heathens are behaving yourselves. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, there's been a couple of times and I'm just like, I'll see some of the stuff. I'm like, oh man, I wonder if BG's going to hop in here. And most of the time you don't, you just probably, you just don't yeah. see it. <clears throat> nope. I've got no time to be arguing back and forth with these degenerates. <laughs> All right. Uh, thing I want to ask, though. BG, did you watch Genlock Season 2 yet? Oh, I forgot. No, I just forgot. That's my fault. Versus? Yeah, I forgot. No, I legitimately just forgot about Genlock Season 2. Versus? <laughs> I know you I mean, set been. up a time, and I will be there for that time if we're going to do it because reasons on it. I'm just going to see what Versus says, but <clears throat> moving on. Um, <clears throat> have Let's get the sad news out of the way. Um, had a couple of notable passings. Uh, Meatloaf, um, the artist, passed away. And then Louis Anderson passed away. I think he was only like... Yeah, seven. Louis Anderson threw me for... I was like, Meatloaf and then Louis Anderson the same day. Same day. <clears throat> It's crazy because uh, Meatloaf was at the con that I went to that I went to see uh, Ming Na, the voice of Mulan, had a huge line all the time that I saw. So I'm like, yo, doing good, smiling. Everybody, um, they put up a little eulogy over at the, um, it was called Motor City Comic Con, put up a little, little eulogy. People were just like, man, the man sat there and talked to us like we were old friends and one of the nicest people. I'm like, wow. And that was a couple months ago. So you just, it's just like life would just bam like that. And I don't think that it's been released about what exactly happened. Wait, 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 hold on, Jet. You, t you talking on the Illist Exist channels? I have no control over that. <laughs> Zero. That is their channel. <laughs> and they Mike do with is just it what the they host will. of the podcast. He has no actual authority. Like on this Twitch? Yes. On the Discord? Yes. <laughs> That YouTube, that's the Wild West. I've been shot <laughs> over there. Many a time. I'm just, I'm just the dude that's in the tavern, just like trying to like be jovial and <laughs> shut up people. No, nah, come on, come gentlemen. In, we don't need the flash shooters I'm just hit. coming out. <laughs> uh, Alfonso, what's Genlock? Genlock is a Rooster Teeth made uh, anime adjacent type thing uh, about yeah. mechs, and it is the worst thing i have ever seen potentially and they're saying season two is even worse somehow yes <clears throat> so if you want you a terrible 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 watch um i believe both seasons are on hbo max and they're uh, uh at least the first season's on the rooster Teeth website we've already <clears throat> done it because reasons on the first one mm -hmm. so many eggs so we still need to do it really. <clears throat> hmm Yes, we do. We still need to do Ruby. We're I very behind watch. on Ruby. <laughs> the volume. Um, so yeah, versus. Did you watch? Uh, did you also watch the last season of Ruby? And actually, for that matter, Ralph, did you? Because you hadn't. Fuck no, I have not. <clears throat> Go watch it. If you I was you, oh you God, are you serious? Ser BG's so disappointed in you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been waiting to hear if we're going to do this fucking reason so I can well, set a time and binge it. Well, just do it. And then that way I know. I need motivation. Holy I'm not motivated. He needs a deadline. Yeah, yeah I'm not motivated. Versus is watching Genlock watch right now. I'm going to set up. I'm going to set a date for the next like week or so for Genlock. And then after that, why are their suits white? <laughs> after that, we'll do we'll do uh, volume eight. Okay. Is there a release date for Volume 9? I don't even know if they even said anything. 2022. Okay. <clears throat> My question is, who's in charge of Ruby and Genlock now? Uh, Genlock, I don't know. Um, it's not Grey Haddock anymore. He he is super gone. Um, yeah. Ruby is still um, <clears throat> uh, Carrie. They have they have a, okay. like a writers room now of like five different writers that include Miles and Carrie. <clears throat> but um, in terms of director, it's still Carrie. Would you say that Ru the new season of Ruby is improving? No. <laughs> <clears throat> it has fallen back into some of its old trappings, and I don't have very much confidence towards the future. I have seen 
some arguments about outfit changes and kind of steered away so I can experience Irrelevant. it myself. Irrelevant. Yeah. Story issues. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Fucking reaction. Woo. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> Story issue. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't okay. want to make me laugh. I have, a, I have a genuine question, though, about it. Have they retconned anything that they've already established in the past three seasons? They always do. I don't even have to think about if they did it. I know that they did it, but I don't know exactly what they did. Okay. But blanket statement, yes, of course. Okay, um, then it's not shit good. Okay, they I'm were they were retconning stuff in the good seasons. True, I, true. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Here's that's a true. question. Go ahead. Yeah. If, if if this was the exact same series with the exact same voices <laughs> without the rooster teeth heading, would it be popular? That's a very. Good I think question. it would be. I mean, because it's still it's still a wonder that is done online with um. Amateurs, essentially. Yeah. I think that it would. People it would still also very... have notoriety, but it wouldn't be like, hey, it's what? over in Japan. It's getting dubs. It's getting mangas. It's getting very bad games. Would, <laughs> hey, Cross it... Tag Battle was rocking. That is in... not a Ruby game. It's Ruby in it. In that same vein, would Monty still be attached to it? Like, it's not Rooster Teeth, but it's still created by Monty Um, because I think that had a big pull as well. No, I mean okay. these are just we just pop up. We're Ruby Company. Here's our anime. I movie. have a I have a question that's mostly for Mike to answer here because I know the other two of you really are don't know much about him. But Mike, question: If if Monty never died, do you think Ruby becomes what it is? That's very yes, much like the uh, but Heath not Ledger to thing. not yeah. to the degree. Because I think, like, Volumes 4 and 5 suffered so much from, like, just... There was all the story crap that went wrong. And then you didn't have the Montium action to save any graces, you know? Like, the action of those two seasons was dog shit in comparison to everything else. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Just uh just a thought, but okay. So yeah, I, I think like there still would have been some just kick ass rule of cool action in those seasons and you know <laughs> still going forward. But um Monty really didn't write. He he just he created it, he did character designs, <clears throat> like rough character designs that people fleshed out, and then Miles and Carrie did the writing. Probably would have been more problems, if anything, because if you look at, um, he did the, you know, in volume two, it's just like, hey, here's Torchwick, and then bam, here's Neo, and they're like, who the f is this? It's like, oh, that's Neo, I didn't want to animate them getting into the helicopter, so here's a new character. Like, during the season one, or volume one, uh, commentary, um, in, when Penny does the giga laser and <clears throat> takes out the two jets, Miles gets pissed. He's like, why did you have her do that? They're not supposed to be that strong. And Monty's just laughing. <laughs> so he throws in stuff without them knowing all the damn time. Or he did, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, since the, the you know those volumes, up until volume six, really. Like, volume six was where I started liking the action again. Um, without that <clears throat> backbone... It just you know you you, you saw those two you volumes. Didn't, you didn't like uh, Ruby standing stationary and twirling her her scythe as as um, Mercury just stands three feet away and just pew 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 <laughs> stationary as well. <laughs> uh, the twirling. I just saw a a circular blur that they do all the damn time when they don't want to actually animate her twirling the scythe. <laughs> Nah, it's too much. Too much. That I can't, hate. Can't be bothered. <laughs> I hate that. <clears throat> um. All right, <clears throat> moving on. Uh, oh man, we got we got off of like the, the sad stuff. <laughs> um. Like, for Louis Anderson, I most most of what mostly what I remember him from is um, Family Feud. Like in my childhood, he was the host. 
Life with Louie. I didn't good. really watch that all that much. Like I knew of it, but I didn't like. I don't know. Either I didn't get the channel, or I don't. I'm not. I don't quite remember. But <clears throat> oh man, yeah, Triton. He he was a a very very funny comedian and overall good person. He passed away recently, like a couple days ago. But uh, but yeah, <clears throat> 2022 already <laughs> off to a great start. What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. This was not Louis an Anderson time died. To do this. <laughs> that was not an appropriate time to do that. <laughs> but my God, I looked away from the game for a second. All right, moving on. Um, let's see some smaller tidbits of news. Um, Black Panther Two has stopped filming again because there is a COVID outbreak on set. Lol. <clears throat> Just and hey boy. She is getting dragged by her co-host. Deservedly. Really? Dragged. I'm not not outright just saying, what is this stupid piece of doing? This but like, just hey, like, maybe some of us should be a little bit safer taking precautions. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's stupid stuff there. <clears throat> oh. So yeah, they, they're probably on like a month or so break <clears throat> just to let it get through everybody's systems. That movie uh, probably ain't even ever coming out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, it'll come out. Just it'll be like Black Widow when it's completely irrelevant. True. <clears throat> um, moving right. Black along. Widow high key should have just not waited for theaters. Oh, exactly. It shouldn't have. But theaters are fucking shitheads and demanded that they did. And yeah. Disney is too. I mean, yeah, and Sony. We know this already. This the corporations. We're not. We don't even need to get into that. We already know. Um. Did we all see the Moon Knight trailer? I did. did. It's Definitely. fine. It looks fine. It, it's very basic right now. Like, yeah. Okay. Cool. We get like, the, his, like character his character. Angle, like horror ish angle that they're going for. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, but <clears throat> the same thing could have been said for the New Mutants, and that was trash. True. Yeah. I'm waiting to see where it is because it seems like they're going very practical. <laughs> Speaking with of this movies one. that they shouldn't have waited. <laughs> <laughs> to put out. Woo. Go see it at your Boy. local drive-in. No, I don't think I will. They should have just dumpstered that like that Fantastic Four movie. Just like, this is never seeing the light of day. <laughs> you gotta unearth it in some landfill to, to get the original print. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, boy. So, um... Anyone see some uh, Italian uh, government yep. news recently? <laughs> Ooh, oh, that no. was funny. What, what, what are we talking about? I don't <laughs> oh, know anything was... about this. Uh, oh, you don't? <laughs> no, everybody's making faces. What happened? Oh, well, so... I'll, 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 as the resident Italian-American here, I'll go with this one. There you go. So, uh, in a meeting with uh, the uh, not... uh, uh, that one, I yes. got you. I know what it was. <laughs> okay, there you go. But anyway, so the chat knows. Yeah, uh, in a meeting with for Italian government members, the uh, video screen was uh, used to play Tifa Lockhart SFM porn. It <laughs> was <like> amazing. <clears throat> honestly, honestly, I'm surprised it took this long. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> like we, we got like you know government officials like getting stuck on like a dumb chat filter like where they're a cat like, that's funny but like <clears throat> but like it's it's their people on their personal computers like it was bound to happen i just thought it'd be so much sooner <laughs> oh yeah okay. and then something more um mainstream just like straight up porn yeah <clears throat> nope just... tifa lockhart 3D model. Or was it uh, Aries? <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, Tifa. It was Tifa. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. What, what, wasn't it a hacking that was done, though? No. I what didn't see it? that, that it was no. a hacking, no. It was just a thing that happened. It was just something. Nation. Yep, something was logged incorrectly, or somebody clicked the wrong thing. And, it's like uh, uh, one of the Mexican, I think the Mexican president was doing a PowerPoint presentation and had a uh, Nico Robin on screen for a little while. He was like, whoops, that's not supposed to be there. It, it wasn't anything dirty. It was just Robin. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, I think it was just a uh, a slide or something that was not supposed to be there and it just was there. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh needless to say, it, it's fu- it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and just Absolutely. <clears throat> And, and like all the news articles, of course, it's like, my God, this is so disgusting. Someone should really link this video. That way we can all avoid it. <laughs> Just so much in the comments. So much. Oh, fun. yeah. <clears throat> but this uh, is a user by the name of Alex Spence entered the Zoom chat and Zoom bombed the Senate. All right, Zoom bomb. Yeah, yep, he, he joined the chat and dropped it. He didn't hack. He just, it was an open I mean, Zoom chat. My, my whole thing yeah. is, so long as it's not one of the politicians, Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I'd be fine with them. Who cares? I, I wouldn't want it on your personal computer at yeah, the ready. That, at, at work. Yeah. Because I've, I've <clears throat> in my previous line of work, I've had to log into people's computers, and I'm just like, oh, uh, wh- what website do I have to go to? Oh, you just have to go to this website. It's P-O-O. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Poopy dog butts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what you're looking for, Brett? <laughs> Dude, ha- have you ever did that, like... <laughs> You've accidentally seen your friend's tastes if you've like been on their computer. No, <clears throat> I, I had no, once I where I was I, I was visiting a friend in college, and this is you know back in the heyday of me being v- super into Red versus Blue. So I just start typing in Red versus Blue dot com, mm. and I get to Red, <laughs> and I found out, <laughs> and then <laughs> they walk in. I'm like, so you're into redheads, huh? <laughs> Whoops! Hey, don't Mike, Mike. What are you doing? Don't you don't you don't do that. Uh, uh-uh, you keep that on the down low. I, I ain't see just... nothing. You ain't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sometimes you just gotta be like, whoop, shrug shoulders. Because I know that that same friend would do the same shit to me. So now, I would do it if it. You know what? I would do it if it was on the periphery of some bush. But if it was on some actual bush, I just put my hands up like if they were into scat i'd just be like i, I ain't see nothing i ain't know nothing yeah that yeah that i would i would not have, <laughs> I would not have engaged but just like a propensity for redheads yeah i can see that uh you on an asian kick right now huh bruh i, I can no, see doing that I would, I would try to reevaluate the friendship like watching <laughs> watch a movie you're just like oh my goodness scat that's <laughs> disgusting isn't it? <laughs> and just see what they say. Like you gonna lie? <laughs> let's see. Like, let's see how we try to pull it out of them. No, not to pull it out of them. Just be like, how? What? How? Are you gonna lie to me? Are you gonna see her lie to me? Are you, you gonna literally make like just... L trying to get Kira to admit he's Kira? Oh, shit. <laughs> he's just on the seat staring at him, seeing what he's gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, because like uh, you could be watching uh, the Human Centipede where they got a shitty yeah. shot. And it's just like, uh, how do you feel about this? <laughs> oh, Boy, I so sure wouldn't this... want that to happen to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Agreed. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Whoo. Why do we always? Why do we go always here? go here, Triton? Because we're filthy people. Oh yeah, we're it's we're no filthy question. dirt people. A bunch of dudes dirt who met, met each other yeah, via yeah, AMVs. <laughs> yeah, we got it through each other through a mutual thing artistry of putting copyrighted music to copyrighted moving images. Sorry, mm-hmm. we like to talk about people in each other's <laughs> mouths sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> Which we don't like, kind of right? Like, like, like right. staring yeah. at the screen. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do we, yeah. how do we yeah. liken one to the other here? What is what is what is what is this transition of knowledge? It's, it's, I'm just, kind of... it's just a natural progression. No, of where it's, it's not. Gonna go. I'm sorry. If you're no, making A and B's, eventually you're gonna talk about poop. No, no, <laughs> no. That's not what I prove that you do. What are we talking about right now, Ralph? Yeah, Ralph, I, you you have been to eighteen plus showings at Yomacon. I have watched DA. And Sailor Death observe worse with doors <laughs> open and children walking by behind. There them. were no children there were walking children. by. There, there were, were no children. children. Oh, oh, so you remembering children? Yes. What's going on I'm with glad, you? I'm glad you remember that particular detail. Yes, I do because it's <laughs> fucked. Okay. It is. Uh, it's an AMV editor, editor friend of ours who. Yeah. Uh, 
was comparing his very well minted uh, scat porn hentai collection with DA oh, while they were going over famous stuff. Yeah, and know, it yeah. was Sailor Death was a very he's very into um, uh, hentai editing. <clears throat> So, and this is the year that I went up against internet. him. This is a, this was the year I went oh, up no. against him in, in a uh, hentai editing contest, and, I, and he was just like, "Yeah, come see, come see the vault." Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh no! no, no. <laughs> okay, Triton, was... Triton's got you guys. He wants a, he wants a hentai revisited. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, Da, there's a certain thing that I know Sailor Da Death can is not like the stand. Anti Walt Disney. It's like, oh, it's going back in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> See it one hey, yeah. uh, Devin, we never <laughs> found that Kion on a hole from Da again, never. ever. I'm so mad. I would, I would probably. I bet display, you are. I would. <laughs> no, I would display <laughs> it because it's yeah, just sure, a funny okay. joke. Why would you display, display something it. so huge? <laughs> no, it wasn't though. Was it though? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I never use an auto hole. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's still in the box. The package is just all ripped up, <laughs> taped back together like eight times. Why is there hot glue on the plastic? <laughs> Aww. He he didn't refurbish the felt. <laughs> <That's so warm. laughs> Oh boy! Uh, if you if you ever get the pleasure, if if cons are a thing that we continue to do at any point in time, because it's a gray area now, uh, if you ever have the time to come view a a eighteen plus panel hosted by Mike or a friend of ours, uh, you'll see some shit that will change your life forever. Uh, in, in comparison to our friend Nat, mine the, what I have is super tame. <laughs> yeah, Nat's crazy. <clears throat> She's she just being nuts. I wonder how yeah. the current circumstances may have altered her perspective and <laughs> I think no you're set worth. on this. Do you, do you think Nat is going to be less depraved because they're who they finally want to be? Yes. No! no. Probably more so. <laughs> probably more so! You think so? I don't know. Have, have, you, have you looked, looked at her Twitter address. at all within the last, like... <laughs> no. I barely pay attention to Twitter. She most is times. unleashed. <laughs> Oh. oh, the mask is off. That limiter oh. came right off. <laughs> yeah. the, the ankle bracelets are off. off. <laughs> the tits are on, and the mask is off. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's it is truth. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover I feel hat. Like I yeah, stumbled welcome into to the a podcast. different world whose rules I do not understand. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Oh, dude, we done seen some. Sh- Yes, yeah, we we've have. seen shit. Literally. Nothing like DA. I, the one thing that DA is just like, I cannot do uh, is penis in nipples. It is the most disgusting <laughs> thing. That is a thing, of too. All. <laughs> it, is, it is. I'll just sit there and watch almost anything. As soon as I see that, my head just goes, oh, nope, can't see it. Disgusting. <laughs> Horrible. Anti creators have a lot of free time. <laughs> and they like to up the ante. That's their entire focus. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, I am a multi-time hentai video award winner, just saying. <laughs> Proudly. There you Bronze go. hentai tentacle award. Oh, Marco. It absolutely exists. Do not go searching Do for it. Do not. It is, it is revolting. revolting. Do I not. hate it Do like, so just, much. Just, the, the whole goal of Nat's panels are to make you leave. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's all she wants. She wants. She thinks it's a success if people start walking out. She'd rather have a room of 60 people end with zero people than zero people and end with 60. Yep. And the stuff that I was supplied for those panels from her does not do that. Because <laughs> she keeps <laughs> the dark shit to herself. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Going trip down memory lane. Got a couple more things. Um, we didn't talk about it last week, um, but there's not too much to talk about the Troy Baker NFT stuff. Not much more came out of it, but <clears throat> so it exists. That's it. He uh, he came out. Troy Baker, very 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 popular voice actor, um, has been in on he's uh, Joel and Uncharted. Um, been in many anime, yeah, a lot of other popular Joel games. And Uncharted, infamous infamous uh, Second Son. 
<clears throat> I'm st- he still he did not even understand what he just did. Yeah, no, he didn't. And he supported this NFT thing, which, um, in essence, would basically just replace voice acting. <laughs> it was. It was. De- uh, it was Sorry. basically he was just like you know, uh, this is for lower independent creators who can't afford a Troy Baker. They can still get Troy Baker. I don't think he understood <laughs> exactly what he was signing up for. I also think, though, he's still into NFTs as a whole, though, so I don't yep. think it was entirely innocent. <clears throat> no, definitely not. I uh, think not uh, the technology is something he did not... It, it wasn't what he thought it was. Yeah. But he still loves NFTs. Yep, <clears throat> so there's that, <clears throat> which is unfortunate when you learn that, you know, someone who, like, is worth it, you respect... <clears throat> supports that kind of stuff but i'm hoping oh yeah folding ideas just put out a long i mean like two and a half three hour video on nft tremendous work i need mm-hmm. to check that out <clears throat> post that in they're, the discord. They're bullshit. Um, what was that post that in the discord i'd like to watch that too <clears throat> um yep i got it right here all right yep just post and it. uh and yeah just he, he had like a follow-up podcast or something where like there's another voice actor on that and he's just like let, let me let's talk let's let's we can you know let's this out a little bit friends talk about how this uh can be done better <laughs> what you want to do <clears throat> so yeah i mean it's a good idea and concept but then you just have to be like anything that you do go nft you just go no no we're, we're stopping that right here and now mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, you know what it was it was double stupid because the the uh terms were still like the voice actor can turn down works they didn't enjoy so you still needed their permission to do the work so you couldn't just have troy baker's f- fantastic voice acting and something sfm porn thing yeah it was it was <laughs> stupid the gilbert godfrey mortal Kombat. uh Song it's still the greatest in the world. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. J J O H N N Y K. Scorpio. It's so good. It's so good. Kano. Lu Chang. Lu Chang. The man who can barely read. <laughs> we have found out. <clears throat> you have to figure, like, it was either that or just, like, they, like, was it was in all caps and they just space stuff. <laughs> really long. <clears throat> oh, boy. Um, Joss Whedon I forgot has how now... Good hmm? Oh, I forgot how good this it's one. Good. It's so good. It's in my uh my stream playlist. <laughs> it's too good. I forgot <laughs> how good this is. And even without the, that whole thing, the instrumentals are really good. They, yeah, they like, them honestly, the stuff. like the second, I guess like verse part, <clears throat> like there's a riff that they do that just the guitar riff, um it, it I cannot not headbang when I hear it. It's one of the sickest riffs I've heard in a Mortal Kombat cover. <laughs> legitimately across the board um but yes uh joss whedon has snapped back finally at all of the allegations he made a genuine mistake how did how did how did this get through a publicist how did this get through anybody why did why was he allowed to sit down and just go all right no 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 y'all don't understand here's what happened you see gail and then he should have just been tackled just yeah. like no, uh-uh. he he shut it real bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Calling uh, oh, I'm what's a uh, cyborg's actor? I'm forgetting his name. Uh, Ray, Ray Fisher. Ray, Ray Fisher. <clears throat> Where he just called him. He's just like, yeah, he sucks at acting. <laughs> Dude, <clears throat> it's not my fault. You're trash. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, but, uh, bro. I, yeah, I've not hey, read hey, the my full fault thing. that this cyborg and Wonder Woman sh- ain't make sense. What? <laughs> yeah, print that. I said. <laughs> yeah, I've not read the full thing. I need to, but it's 
Like after I I saw the snippets, it was just one of those things where I'm just like, why do I, why would I kind of want to read this? <laughs> well, absolutely. What do I gain from this knowledge of what he said? Like just like all from all these snippets, he's just a dick. <laughs> just oh, absolutely, utter douche nozzle. <clears throat> like, do you think he directs anything ever again? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think that he's harbored enough goodwill that people Mel are be Gibson like, is directing. Yeah, mm, true. he went on a tyrant against the Jews. Like true. Homeboy is alive. Chris, Chris Brown is still putting out music and still charting and still selling out arenas. Muffs don't care. Muffs don't care. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Tory Lanez uh, <clears throat> potentially shot Megan The Stallion and then made an album about it. They don't give us no, out here. Maroni Kitchen, dude. Mm-hmm. Factual pedo. And then they're just like, hey, new Maroni Kitchen anime. <clears throat> Joe Button beating multiple of his partners. Still top 30 podcast in the world. They don't said, give us. You said Joe Biden for a second. Joe I was Button very knows. lost. I was like, wait, what? <clears throat> I'm on the political news spectrum here. I did not hear that. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, animator that does a lot of the stuff in political space that made a uh, Punished Bernie uh, SFM thing. That's hilarious. Dude, That's it hilarious. Was, it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leak in the chat. Yeah, I, mean, I want to see that. <clears throat> um, And then finally... We have the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard. They're in the process. Boy. <clears throat> One, do we even think this is going to go through? I already did. Uh, it, it's, I don't think they've gone through the arbitration of... Um, SFM is a source filmmaker. Okay, let me put it like this. Uh, Phil Spencer has already had a actual business conversation to... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Calm the nerves of Sony that they would still be able to get Call of Duty on their consoles. This is but that's over. Not the, it's it's not about it's not about uh, Sony. It's about uh, Congress and and the government They're, because when uh, when yeah the monopoly thing because when uh, Sony was buying Crunchyroll, they mm-hmm. were like, you already own Funimation. Uh, the one of the top two streaming <laughs> platforms. Now you want the number one as well. I don't know if we can allow this. And it went. It had to go through the arbitration process. Here's Same the thing, thing happened when uh, Sirius XM merged. Here's they had the to go thing, through the though, arbitration. Is that video gaming on the whole is still something that the people on the hill don't think or care about. They may view this as a simple acquisition of content since Microsoft is already coming out and saying, well, we're still going to let it go on other platforms so it's 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 going to be come down to and i agree with you completely it's got to go through arbitration it's not quote unquote done done but i think there's a very no i can't even say that because i do think it might happen but uh, i think it's, it's a solid chance it's more it's a better chance of it happening than not happening exactly because but there is a very good chance muddy. it doesn't happen it's yeah. very muddy I, I, with everything <clears throat> else going on if congress decides to make a point right now to say that Microsoft might be getting a video game, and I use air quotes here, video game monopoly, because I don't think they give a shit. I would say it's a 70-30. 70, 70, it goes through. 30, I I completely agree to that. Because, to be honest, I don't think they view... Again, it's a multi-billion dollar business, but, you can but say the same thing it about doesn't anime, affect them and they, they There was a huff and fuff about, like uh, BG said, Funimation and... Uh, yeah. Country Roll. But and I, hope they I would Sirius say they give XM. less of shit about anime. Yeah, and the uh, same thing happened with Sirius XM, which was satellite radio. They were like, you're the only two satellite radio thing. And they had to make the argument that we're not competing against uh, satellite radio. We're competing against all of radio. We don't have a monopoly on radio. Uh, we would just have the satellite yeah. radio thing. And that allowed them to go through because the judge was like, yeah, they're still competing with regular radio, smartphones, Spotify, those types of things in the space of what Sirius XM does. So uh, we are allowing this merger to go through. I don't uh, like and for I, Microsoft, I'd be more the inclined, argument is, go ahead. I'd be more inclined to agree with you if I even heard a whisper that they were even interested in hearing details. 
Uh, like I said, it depends on yet. when they want to open a case, when they want to look at it. Because there are articles out there just like um, tech giants making more giant purchases. And there were like three companies and Microsoft was one of them. And if uh, if Congress is looking at it or whoever goes through this process of doing this is looking at it like they're a big tech company. They already own this <clears> many <throat> gaming things. And now they bought one of the, I would say, six top uh, top maybe four third-party publishers? It's top four. Yeah, easily top four. So, and then you're buying that. I So you already bought, like, the sixth or seventh one. Now you're buying the fourth one. I would also uh, say... I don't know if we're going to want this to happen. Yeah, I would also say, too, like, if it's, you know, an Activision acquiring a Blizzard, those are two, like, two Congress two obscure equivalent. video game, video game yeah. companies that they don't really care about. They know Microsoft. And they know Microsoft. They know likes Microsoft. To buy a bunch of companies. That's the thing. I I am waiting to hear back. I I guess like BG even clarified, it's a 70-30 split. I personally don't think right now the chances are high they're going to go in on this. Again, maybe if times were quieter, but I think that right now they've got their own messes to deal with. And it's... I mean, Disney had to go through it for Fox, and not even Fox. But that's Fox. That, that, that's that's different. No, that is even... in their wheelhouse. But not even Fox in their totality, just uh, assets. They're media, their media assets. So I, I we'll feel like see. they are going to look at it. I don't know if they're going to look at it too hard, but they will. And if they find that they don't like it, they're going to go, Mm-mm, no, sir. Yeah, we'll, again, like you said, we'll see. It's just mm-hmm. I'm leaning more towards that. They're not going to do anything. If they did, I'd be very interested to see because at that point, what happens to Activision Blizzard? Because I could even see if it does go to litigation, what might be said is that okay, we will split Activision and Blizzard back into their individual like that. individual sectors, and you can buy one or the other, and the other may be going into a separate, you know, individual uh, platform. So because we'll even see. though Activision and Blizzard were combined, they acted as separate entity. Exactly. They so, were brought, they were owned by a parent. But they were their own independent operating systems. So if Microsoft is saying that they're going to be a parent company and not a direct uh, controlling apparatus, might be maybe it's different. We're going to have to see what details come out with, with, when, that, when the tree is shaken here. Because, again, if they do split it, that's one way they, they can get around congressional overhead. But it doesn't even come to that. I'm sure they're thinking the same way. But in that case, which do they take, Activision or Blizzard? Probably Activision. Activision. No, not even probably. Diablo, that, that's what they want? No. World they're of gonna Warcraft want, is also They're going to want Spyro. They're going to want... Uh, but let's face it, Duty. Activision it is bad. But I, I've seen the meme that, you know, uh, what Microsoft is buying isn't content. It's an HR stunt. So, I mean, if they don't buy Blizzard, it's less of a headache. Because let's face it, Blizzard is the one with the big ooh-ooh right now. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that so some of the things that have come out for it is after the acquisition, Ooh, they are goodbye. Bobby Kodak is going away. That is confirmed now. Why can't I ask this comment? I'm trying to Oh, do I'm doing too. it. Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. <laughs> um Yeah, Bobby Kodak is going away. Um and then they obviously uh, there's you know a bunch of different <clears throat> gaming franchises that would be moving over, and then Phil Spencer's even said like <coughs> he would want to revive some dead franchises, including Guitar Hero. <clears throat> Which, but why didn't they just do Gu- Guitar Hero and didn't it just flop? No, that was uh, there, that was another company that did something else. I don't remember. Well, no, no, Rock Band and Guitar Hero came out at around the same time and they both flopped. I won't say they flopped. They were super successful for a while, but then... No, the up. latest reboots of them that came out like four years ago. Guitar Hero. Do you l- really not remember this? Nope. I don't remember it either. Uh, So about seven years ago? <clears throat> I've acquired... Still against Activision with unclear... Cost. Yeah, I think I like Guitar famous. Hero, but it's just that I can't really. It's the left hand with the, and it's and it sucks that I can't really. Oh yes, Triton. People played the shit out of Guitar Hero. 
Oh, I loved it. It was great. It was a whole lot of fun. Like I think but I just World... couldn't really get the hang of it. Like once we got to Rock Band and then World Tour, where they had the drums as well. That's that was my shit, just because I play drums. <clears throat> um, like I was super into it at that point. Yeah, but um, then they were just like, "Hey, keyboards and all this other." It's like, "Hey, chill, chill, chill out, chill out." And you know what? It's <laughs> funny because it it would really benefit from people having to stay at home if they had released it like a year ago, two years ago. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, it could have re caught on because people are just kind of stuck at home. It's something to do. But no, nope. latest one was 2015. Yeah, Guitar Hero Live in 2015. <clears throat> Wasn't there also one with like actual strings that you had to? Play? That's right, that that Rocksmith. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and yes. they're doing good things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah. Like the controller is a, is just a legitimate guitar, and you can use any guitar actually. <laughs> it plugs in via like an actual guitar jack. <clears throat> All right. That is all that I had, so unless you guys have anything, we can wrap this shit up. Hey, wrap it up. Fact man. Fact this up. Fact man. I got nothing. Uh, just normal facts. Get the near football. How many? Uh, how many are we talking? We got 70. 70. 70? Yep, Rock Man 4 and that Guitar Hill came out the same year. That's the year I was thinking of. 69. I'll go one higher with 70. <laughs> Price of rules, bit. We got three. a three and we got a 46. Three, 46, 69, 70. 70. 70. Hey! <laughs> hey! You Jennifer Lawrence her. has a tattoo that says H2 on her, on her hand to remind her to drink water. Oh. You know... It's, it's not the worst thing. <laughs> no, it is. No, no that no. is. That's dumb. Uh, drink water. <laughs> drink water. <laughs> you, don't be, you don't have to be like, hey, let me drink this acid real quick. Oh, H2O. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to be drinking. Like, she's got she's got to have a, a an assistant or an agent or something. Why didn't you call, hey, how much water you drank today, bitch? Why not just have an app? Why not just have an app? You think an assistant or like an agent helped with like celebrity breakdowns and stuff? They aren't there at all times. <laughs> but the thing, your job could be, hey, call me every day at this time to yeah. see how much water I drink. Or when you're on like a movie set or or uh, going into auditions or something, like, hey, that's your fifteenth Pepsi. <laughs> Maybe take a look at your hand. <laughs> For those that drink young, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. <laughs> I know it's you did the slogan. <laughs> it's dude, drink water. I have mm. a giant thing of water I'm drinking now. Do you, do you you know there's a Twitch bot for that, right? Hydration bot. It reminds the streamers to drink water. Mm. It's, that's automated, but she needed to permanently scar her skin for it. Yes. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, and um. I don't know, Gavin. It looks like he screwed up as well. Did she? Why? How did she screw up? Um, I should have googled it before I got it tattooed on my body forever. I know that the two is supposed to be high in H two O, and the two, I know that the two is high, and in H two O, the two is supposed to be low. So she, um, it's not H two O, the way that the uh, yeah, it's. Not hydrogen, like lower in yeah. the like bottom corner two, and then a big O. Yeah, it's um completely wrong. I'm <laughs> yeah, she's... H- is it H squared? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <clears throat> that tattoo artist is a troll. <laughs> hey, do you know what your who is who H H Oh what, <laughs> boy! Like just seeing like what some things that some people tattoo on them, and then like I look at like those tattoos, and then I look at the stuff that my old college roommate is doing. Like I go <clears throat> on occasion; it's one of the few Instagrams that I will go and visit, and he just posts all of his work, and he is so fucking good. 
I don't know. This is awful. It looks Stupid. like uh, it, oh it looks God. like like the the woman symbol mm-hmm. in the man woman symbol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is awful. It looks like a scar or a, a bed bug bite. <laughs> what is she doing? <coughs> this and magnetron on her arm made it lighter so that she, it could be easier to cover up for movies. Yeah, with some makeup or something. Maybe that makes sense. Whatever the case may be, that's that's not a good tattoo. <laughs> How many? Especially you, you since have you any, I has some. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You don't have any tattoos, do you? Or is it just DA? No, no, not yet. I, uh, I, I don't know what I want for my first. It's either I mean, a dragon have, or it's uh, the one thing I wanted to do. Because I, I was born in Year of the Dragon. I have five. Okay. I have a crown. I have a king in- of diamonds. I have the One Piece Jolly Roger. And I have... A number two on my um, pointer finger, and I have a the Roman numeral for two on my ring finger. Uh, is there one you regret? These two, <laughs> really? Yes, the twos. The no, no, the um, the crown because the crown looks stupid. I don't like the crown. It is is a dumb crown. It, and it's kind of faded, and I, if I get a retouch, and then it's got it's got the little the, shine yeah. marks, and it's, it is that's, black, and it looks stupid. That's a black and I man's it. first tattoo, and I hate it. I'm and a it's king. stupid. Oh I'm my goodness! King. I was 18 when I got it. It looks so <laughs> stupid. What about the diamonds one? The, it's just it's like, well, why, why did I do that? It's, it's, it's cool. Purpose, we though. were all doing something for the yeah. I, I like it. I like oh, the whatever. diamond one. I know the ones on the finger you said hurt like a bitch. Oh, it was indescribable. The dude was just like, you sure about this? This gonna hit different. I was just like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Let's do he, it. He did it. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be like, hey, hey stop, stop, stop. Because then it's just like, well, you just got a line on your hand now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mark of my cowardice. <laughs> Didn't you have the big mom heart? No, I want to. I really want to. That's probably gonna be next, low key, cause mm. I love that heart on her arm. Mike Triton sent you some videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna, I was waiting for you guys to finish. I did watch them, Triton. <clears throat> um, yeah, like there's there's a lot of people that get like just solely blinded on like their viewpoint that they can't accept another viewpoint. Um, <clears throat> but like, and just like it, that that can go both ways. I feel like he could have met you in the middle at some points, but uh, yeah, Triton has it, the, there's two Ruby videos that he sent me, and it was one about um, how basically Ironwood is always wrong, and um, Robin is like the paragon of a great character, <clears throat> and then the other one was I think it was how important death is. He DM them to me. Tell you how much they had an effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I can remember them so so well. Taking death seriously, yes. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, Triton has uh, some essays in those. So does Debt in one of them. Um, oh really? They both kind of went off. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's still going. <laughs> You're still responding. Oh, uh, we, we know them long response chains. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, you, you get people that are like super stuck in how they view things, just like, uh, you know, the whole Jim Bay video that you guys watch, where it's just like this man is is a legend. He's an idol. <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> Slavery. Oh. Um. Oh yeah. I'm still debating if I ever do want to get a tattoo myself. Do you know what you I mean, want? Why not, BG? Oh yeah, I want a dragon because uh, you're the you're dragon. dragon. And I want uh, the number one made up of one in different languages. So one first, Kwame, that type of thing. <clears throat> so is that just like uh, the, like, I guess, birth order of your siblings? Yep. Everybody oh. did something different. The third one got the three mice. I mean, not the mice, but the three monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Gotcha. Fourth one got a four star Dragon Ball, that type of thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, something Zelda, obviously, for a nerdy one, but then, and then I think I've said this before, where uh, the uh, super rare disease that almost killed me as a kid, uh, 
I would want to get like the genetic makeup of it and put 50 50 underneath because that was my chances of survival. Um, yeah, uh, there's no reason not to get a tattoo unless you're, I mean, deathly afraid of needles. And yeah. even DA is that and he did it. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm just afraid of needles specifically in my forearm to draw blood. And it's because of said disease. <laughs> nah, that's fair. But Very you know hyper what? specific I, I, phobia. I love, I would love to get uh, tattoos like white people. Colored in and stuff. Dude, That's, I'm so, so pissed. It looks so because the the, the crown, good. the jewels on my on my crown, they're supposed to be green and red. Mm-hmm. You can't see them. Oh, are they? I thought <laughs> you, you just, just, I thought you just legit didn't. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you legit just didn't get them covered. covered no, in. you just can't see them. <laughs> I mean, you you can. From what I've no. seen, <laughs> not not as not as easily as a white person. Oh well, yeah, sure. I can, but... I can look up the block and be like, "Oh, that I can see them colors on that white tattoo." But us, <laughs> yeah, there's some colors that pop on black skin, but for the most part, you can't get some of the more um, apt colors. Okay, I feel like it's like when they got to think... get those full sleeves colored in. I'm just like, that looks tremendous. It, looks fantastic. it also probably depends on. The artist too, like, yeah. If you really want some popping colors, it probably is not cheap, no matter what skin color you have. <laughs> but yeah, the 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 straw hats, uh, the yellow and the red come out pretty good on my arm. So I'd say the red more than the yellow. Yellow's kind of. I mean, you could tell the yeah. difference between your skin tone, but <clears throat> it it blends in a <clears throat> little bit. Yeah, what about pixel Ichiban would be cool. What about a Himiko or Aqua tattoo? Or Comey. Uh, I I am afraid to get anime tattoos because or when you're in the fair, yeah. it is just like fair. Yeah. So, Daddy, what is a uh, granddaddy? What does this one do? And what was this one for? Oh, it's for a character from the video game Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep <laughs> named Aqua. <laughs> the um, uh, to get a little bit down on y'all for a second if you want to be like hey da you a hypocrite that's a one piece tattoo the last thing that me and my mom talked about was pirates so i got a pirate tattoo so that's what that is wasn't that yeah. shanty music she was talking yes, about it, it most certainly was she was talking to me about that bush too <laughs> oh yeah <clears throat> ralph any interest yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, no, I was like that. That you look great. Your, no. your your first answer was not, <laughs> was not a really clear cut answer. I, I was just like I was thinking about it. I was like, D- do I really have no? I'm like, yeah, I don't. No, not at all. I hate needles. I could not do it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'd, it's so weird about. because it's, I got like that, and then like tolerance to pain, or like I mean, the two big things. Because it's just like yeah, I think I got a high tolerance. For- I think I got a high tolerance for it, or either I have a low, um, and eh, I don't want to feel that pain type of thing. <clears throat> you you get numb to it after a while. After the first couple was like, ah, and then it's just like, well, it's just, you know, it's just sort of like a, a numb stinging. Yeah, I got a, I was uh, cleaning up earlier, and it was a piece of glass in the sink, and it cut, I mean, right into my finger, and I was like, ah, and I just kind of pulled it out, and I know other people would be like, tweezers, and like, mm, Yoink. I'd have had nails go almost completely through my foot. Like, ugh, who cares? Yeah, I always just get like, I mean, I feel like it's with anything, but just like with like yard work or just like <clears throat> really anything where it's just like you'll just like get a scrape, not even notice it. And then it's just like, you're like, oh man, like my arm feels a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, where you're just randomly. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was drinking milk. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why, you go, like that, it's, it's <laughs> why you gotta put me on blast like that, man? Why you gotta put me on blast like that? Dude, because your bones are brittle. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll call this podcast a close. Ralph, we seeing you next week? Uh, no. <laughs> All righty, <clears throat> you will not. It, it'd be like that sometimes. There we go. You do. Thank we'll we see you later in a week for thing. Uh, Genlock. I don't watch Genlock. Yeah, he didn't watch it. <clears throat> Oh, he didn't watch it. No, he he was, I have never watched it. Wow. Yeah. He's the smartest of us all. The smartest. <laughs> Here I am like, oh, I guess I'll just watch eight volumes of Ruby for y'all. 
This mother's like, oh, I'm not watching Genlock. You don't pull your teeth out with tweezers? What are you doing? What is, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I have. No, I go I've to the never dentist. What? Had, I've never <laughs> had an interest in Genlock in any regard. You don't so cut your long. old glasses into frames for your so you can see better? No, I go to an eye doctor. What black magic is this? <laughs> With that, thank you everybody for tuning into this episode of the Podcast of Stuff. We will see y'all next week. Later.